Hey, welcome back to another Axe Family video. Hope you're doing well. Hope you got a smile on your face because today's a beautiful, beautiful day. Uh, we're with a new friend here today. I just met Jim uh, through Mike Stinnett. And if you watch the previous video, you'll see Mike and the work that he does, the carving. And uh, Jim actually bought one of the sticks from him. And so I know a couple things about you. Jim, I know that you uh, served, and so thank you for your service. You're welcome. You served in Vietnam, correct? Yes, sir. And you're also currently living out of the trailer behind your Jeep that's behind us. Yeah, I live out of five minutes out of the year. I, I have a home base, but it's too hot out there, and I love traveling, and it keeps my combat-related diseases to a low roar, so I'm able to do this. And Not to advertise anything, but Mike made this stick and it got used in a good use for my neurological problems I got from combat. Yeah. So I'm really grateful to have this stick and I'm honored to have you interview me right now. And you even uh, just got a necklace from him as well of a scorpion. Yeah. And uh, we were just saying how it goes really well with your the stick and... That's why I wanted it. Yeah. That's why I got it. Yeah, I like it. I like I like memories of Mike. Mike's a good man, and I can't say enough good things about him. Yeah, tell me a little bit more about yourself. Where are you from? And I get asked that question all the time. I tell people I'm from my mother, uh -huh. and I'm very proud of that <laughs> statement. Well, I'm glad you're proud about it. I've got neurological diseases from ancient orange poisoning from Vietnam. I served there in '67, '68. Just to highlight a little bit, I don't go in detail about it, and uh, this. Outdoors just made my ability to be a human being more human. Yeah. What is it you love so much about being outdoors and you know, getting off the beaten path? I don't watch news. I don't read newspapers because it's all negative stuff. And I just like my big screen TV that I have out here of nature. Yeah. Much better than a TV show. Well, yeah, but... YouTube can be pretty good from time to <laughs> yeah. time, but you do you watch a lot of Mike's videos? I've seen them all, I think. Yeah, <laughs> and I think my friends have seen them all. <laughs> well, it was really cool that you were here at the same time as us because we were able to see a finished, you know, finished product from Mike and actually, you know, meet one of his customers, and uh, I think it tells a bigger story about. Um, Mike, but it also tells a story about you and uh, you being able to carry this stick throughout the rest of your life. And I'm curious, how has this stick uh, changed your life and what kind of comments do you get, etc.? Well, my biggest comment is everybody thinks a taxidermist stuffed the snake and glued it to the pole, but as you've seen in previous Mike's videos, it's all hand carved and hand painted. Yeah. Because it, it looks like a real snake. It is a real snake. Yeah. and A uh, real hand carved painted snake. Tell me the story about, I heard you gave it a name. Tell me that story. Yeah. I, was, I promised Mike I'd take a picture of it when he mailed it to me. And I went to the National Park headquarters and the ranger there says, Oh my God, is that thing real? I said, yeah. And I held it like this and I said, is it poisonous? He says, lay it down and I'll shoot it with my gun. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he says, you got to name your snake. I said, well, my po my st the pole's name Old 78 because it's 78th one that he's made. Yeah. But I came up with the name just real rapidly and I call it Hissy. Hissy. And I had to name my scorpion day too. He's got a name now. What's his name? It's a secret. Oh, it's a secret. So tell me a little bit more about your trailer. My trailer I had custom made. It's, it's made for off-road, off-grid, because I can't hike anymore, and that's my new set of boots, so to speak. There's a bed in there, and there's lighting. Um, what else do you have in there? I've got a portable shower that I can shower out back behind the trailer, and I've got a porta potty and So I've got all the hygiene stuff covered. Yeah. I just keep it simple, make it fun. Yeah. Kismet. And, and it uh, it matches your Jeep, so that's nice. A little bit. I, I couldn't match the color exactly, but I put a contrast to it. Well, this trailer is a new one. I've lived out of my trailers and my vans for over 18 years during the summer months. 
I had to go to Colorado and pick up the trailer because I had it custom made there. I've been in Colorado, Utah, New Mexico, uh, California, Arizona. That's this year already. I've got probably 5,000 miles on the rig already. Wow. And I'm on my way A to Z on the coastline. I, I do that every year just because it's so nice. And I'm getting ready to go to Montana, which I, a state that I spend a lot of time in the summer. My walking ability is not there anymore, so that's my new set of boots, the Jeep and the trailer. Yeah, that's a good looking set of boots. Thank you. I keep them polished too. And you have full size tires on the trailer? Yeah, I've got full size Jeep tires. I've got independent torsion bar suspension. So it goes anywhere the Jeep will go. And was there a specific reason you chose the Jeep? Yeah, I like I like the old look of the Jeep over all the other four wheel drive vehicles I looked at. And I, I just wanted to be out there in, in a nostalgic way. As we've been traveling um, in our truck and uh, we've been running into some other people who have been doing the same thing and so that's part of why I wanted to make this video today was just to introduce you guys to Jim and um, tell a little bit of his story you know and he's traveling traveling around. Um, we went to this uh, place the other day and we parked and we pulled right next to another Tacoma that had a rooftop tent. It was almost identical. And we just started talking to them and it was just cool to hear their story, you know, and when you're traveling around like this, you get to meet a lot of a lot of random people, but it ends up being, you know, good relationships and good friendships. And You do, you know. and you, your rig's quite nice also, by the way. Oh, thank you. And I gotta tell you, that's how I met Mike, being on the road. I think we became pretty good friends out of it, and I, that's the bad thing about being on the road. You see people that you'll never see again that you wish you would. But I've met a lot of nice people on the road. I've had down and outers and old beater rigs offer me their last can of soup out of their rig. Yeah. You know, they've just got a heart and soul. Huh. So I'm, I'm more interested in doing the walking than the talking. Yeah. Keep my health going. Yeah, that's good. Well, yeah, thanks for your kindness. Thanks for taking the time to to talk with me and being in the video and I'm, I'm happy that I came here and got to meet you too I'll shake your hand yeah thank you nice meeting you yeah and hissy says goodbye too all right thanks for watching we'll see you later hats off to you Yeah, I, 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 I was using capo on this.